What's going on guys? Uh, back out here. I got a short little video for you guys today. Uh, someone posted in the comments a few videos ago about asking about uh, toe strap and where to actually, uh, like where I located mine and how I did it. So I'm just going to do a little how to on that. Um, it's pretty crazy right now. It's gotten pretty cold since uh, fall's hitting the northeast. Um, we got one more event coming up at uh, Gig Motorsports, the Skids for Kids event. Um, so basically I got to get this ready. But um, basically I just want to show you guys exactly where I put that toe strap. So I got this toe strap on um, in Janku for like, I think it was like 15 bucks or whatever. Um, I mean, ISR makes pretty sick stuff. This is definitely durable. I mean, I've been towed a few times, so. Uh, but basically what I did, so this is the front end of the Z. Um, I have the bash bar here that this is just like the stock OEM bash bar. And then uh, basically this is how I have it set up. So when they send you these toe straps, they actually send you a bolt with a nut and then the actual toe strap itself. So what Julian and I did uh, like about a year back is you're going to have to take off your fog light ducts so they bolt up here and they bolt down here. You're going to have to take those off um, depending on what side you are. Basically what I've tried to do um, on the stock bumper, you're going to have to cut like a little like notch, basically like a little square so this will be able to fit through on the stock bumper. Um, on the Gretty bumper, I just fit it through the fog light hole since I don't have uh, like a fog light. So with that being said, all we did is uh, this is the top of the bolt. So that's the bolt head. We had it go down through this bash bar and then basically all we did is just bolted it right up. It's super simple, really, really easy. This metal is uh, pretty dense, it's pretty tough, so uh, basically what you're gonna have to do is just get a good drill bit. Uh, you wanna start little by little, so you don't wanna go too big. You don't wanna just, I mean, if you gotta have like a good press or a good drill or whatever, then you can make this super easily, but what we did is we just drilled from the bottom up. Um, we measured how far it would be for that like little hole to uh, fit through like on the stock bumper that like mouth part basically um we just measured a little bit off of this because if we did want to still use the uh fog light duct then obviously like we could put it back on and be able to work um but for the drift car we don't i don't need the fog light duct so we just left it unbolted um so you could obviously push this in a little bit more if you wanted to but we just made sure that we did it so if i wanted my fog lights back in that uh we just went a little bit more to the right there but yeah so uh just start with a smaller drill bit and just start drilling from the bottom up and then get a little bit bigger of a drill bit and just keep going and going and going in size until you can actually fit this bolt through um i don't know the size of this bolt um or the nut or anything i i haven't like i said it's been like a year so um but yeah basically what like it's a lot easier um to put the nut on from the bottom uh up instead of trying to do it in here because like i mean trying to get your hand in there all you got to do is throw a wrench on that and then just sock it and ratchet on this and then just tighten it up and i mean that's it we've we tightened it once and it hasn't moved it hasn't gone anywhere i've been towed on this plenty of times and it's worked perfect so with my bumper being on this is how i have it sit out um it works fine or what you could do is you could take off this metal grate um typically i take this off during events um but what you would do is if i know that i could possibly be towed because obviously i'm pushing the car as much as possible i'll just take this metal grate off and it slides right through here and it fits perfect and there's no issues with it. Um, the only thing that I would say with, like I said, the stock bumper, this doesn't have a fitment problem, but with the stock bumper, this, like, like I said, that mouth part, you definitely have to shave, like uh, you'd have to cut like a little square so you'd be able to pull it through. Um, that's just like, a, just to make it like look clean. But besides that, I mean, it's super simple. It takes five minutes, 10 minutes tops. If like, I mean, you have issues with your drill bits or whatever, but. That simple, toe strap, and you're ready to go. So like I said, super quick, easy video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, for the viewer that wanted to see exactly how I set mine up. Um, you could also do one in the rear if you want. Um, I mean, I, I probably should put one on there. So uh, I'll probably get another video up of where I'm gonna put that on. But uh, I'm trying to figure out if I want a chassis mount wing or not. So I gotta try to figure all that out right now, but whatever. Um, so yeah, next event coming up is uh, November 17th, uh, Skid for Kids event, Gig Motorsports. Be there, be square, 
Um, I think that's going to be our last event of all of us going, like all the guys before winter hits, because it's going to be super cold anyways. Um, but yeah, going on from there, you guys know what to do. Grab some merch, represent us, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.